Nice. Brian got my package from downstairs that I didn't even know I had. And it has some foreign languages on it. So <laughs> I don't know what this could be because I actually ordered um, a purse like a while ago, like a Bottega Veneta dupe on like Pop Bay. I've never heard of it. I don't even know where I saw it, maybe an Instagram ad. But I also recently purchased some stuff off DHgate, which I really don't think it's that because like that was like last week. And I don't think it ships that fast because it's like international. So yeah, I did get some knockoffs or dupes or whatever and i'll definitely share them with you guys because oh yeah it's my pop bay bag okay yay i can use this this weekend but yeah when i was in italy you guys know if you watch those vlogs i was really looking to get a designer bag because they say it's cheaper to get it in italy or just like europe in general but i don't know i just like really wasn't ready i wasn't like wanting something super bad especially like I didn't even know what designer to go to. I didn't know what I loved, which I found out I really like Celine and YSL. I think those are like my top brands for like styles of bag that I really like. Um, and then also Bottega Veneta, but I feel like those are so trendy that it would be very hard for me to just like spend that kind of money for a bag that I know would like go out of the trend very fast. So that is why I got the dupe of the Bottega Veneta. Okay, I'm nervous. No, wait, what? I did not buy sunglasses, <laughs> but maybe it's for free Zoles. What'd you say? <laughs> okay, wow, this packaging is like really nice. I've never heard of Pop Bay. Like I, I want to like backtrack and see where I even found it. What? This is the bag. This is the bag. No, not DHA. I, and when you said DHK, I was like, wait, I literally ordered last week. Maybe not even last week, like, another purse that I got. Okay, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the noodle bag. I don't even know, like, what the real noodle bag, like, feels like in person. But this is what it looks like. It feels like a lot less structured than I thought. Like, it's like... I don't know, I thought it wouldn't move for some reason. So I'm actually really curious to see like what they would like feel like right next to each other. I am obsessed with this. And then like literally after I purchased this, which was like kind of a while ago, maybe, maybe under four weeks, I don't know. But I saw a dupe on Amazon for it, but I don't think it was in the beige color. I think it might've been in a green color, but I'll link that Amazon dupe below. And I'll also link the one I got. Um, okay, let's open it up. Very interested to see. First impression, it's kind of just like you have to like dig your hand in the noodles. That's kind of, it's kind of weird, but. If anyone has this Bottega bag, let me know what you think. Cause I would not be able to tell if someone had like a fake purse or the real one, because obviously I, hmm. Well, I guess I have like a Marc Jacobs snapshot bag. That's real. Other than that, I think I've gotten like a Michael Kors bag and like coach bags in my lifetime, but I've never really had like a real designer bag. And you guys will know when that happens because I will make a scene. Because <laughs> that's such a like cool thing to, you know, treat yourself with. Although like my issue is I don't treat bags very nicely. And so I don't think I'm like ready. I don't think I deserve a nice bag because I'm, I'm not very nice to my bags. Okay, anyways. So let's see. I don't think a lot will fit in here, to be honest. This is the noodle bag and I'm so excited to style this. I'm gonna look like I have a real Bottega Veneta. If this does look like the real one. I'm gonna, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna go compare them on Google. Okay, I will say that there's like some baconing, as Ryan says, do you see that? On the noodles, they're a little overcooked, but other than that, I think it's just like a really cool statement piece. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is not. <laughs> oh, he's saying it's not a purse, it's a clutch. Ryan knows, Ryan knows, okay. Well, I'm just gonna hold it like this and just not even try to put it over my shoulder because that was, that was traumatizing. Okay, good night, I'll see you guys.